the tree, it's not the leaves, it's not the flowers, it's not the fruits. What you see is not the tree. What is it? The story starts with a seed. It is the seed that is planted, that creates the roots and the shoots and the fruits. But we human beings, we look at the tree and we think it's all different. Leaves are different from flowers, are different from fruits, are different from branches, are different from the trunk. When would we stop and contemplate that it is all the work of one seed? Can you deny this truth that it was all one seed that started the story of the tree? What has this tree got to do with you and me? The tree should remind you, remind me, that we are not the mind and ego, M-E, me. We are, we are the divine soul. The soul appears nine months before our so-called birthday. We cut a cake, but that day is fake because we were actually born nine months before and it was called the zygote, the first cell of our existence. The mind and ego, because of its ignorance, carries karma and is transported into a new body by the energy of life that we call the spirit, the soul, the atma. And it is that energy that starts our journey. From that small little zygote, the embryo is formed, the heart, the brain, the kidneys, the organs, the bones, the skin. We learn this in school, but we continue to be a fool because we don't realize the truth that we are not this body. We are not the mind and ego. We are that, that divine soul that started its journey nine months before. And therefore, when you look at a tree and you realize that it all started with a seed, then you will realize the truth that everything in this world starts with that spark of divine energy. Even that seed is nothing but sip supreme immortal power. Even that zygote is nothing but sip supreme immortal power. This entire universe, as science says, dark matter, grey matter, black matter, is all energy. Science only needs to move from the word energy to the word power. They agree it is energy, but they don't realize that energy is sip the supreme immortal power. What makes me walk? What makes me talk? What makes me sing? What makes me do anything? It is the power of sip. What makes you listen to me? If you had no power, you would be dead on the bed. But we don't realize that we are not that body that lies on the bed. We are the one who is not this head, but that spark of energy, the Atma, the Paramatma, the Divine Spirit or the Soul. We are all part of one energy. Stop and contemplate. In your house there are so many gadgets. There are bulbs and televisions and dryers and motors and air conditioners. But the power is one. The power comes to all the gadgets, all the lights, when you switch off the power, everything goes off. We are all part of that one power. That power that is sip, the supreme immortal power. We are taught about God, but God is not God. God is sip, God is that power. It is the power in the tree, it is the power in you and me, it is the power everywhere.